you gone to the grave. So you're gonna have to bleed here. Same kind of plays. Might not win around the one is the only problem. I'll kick. That connector out might be a little much. Hey, Mixazi. I don't know. We got Phantom, Nekarat TA, Garkane follow up, or Brooks a follow up. I guess we Brooks a first. Spreads out the points a little bit better. Hey, Douglas. I like how the, the Koda animation doesn't seem to be blocking. Like, I played the Bruxa, and then while the Nekarat's animation for the cooldown was still going, I was able to click on the Nekarat. Um, probably has to die. I don't think I want to waste the Toad Prince. Hey, casual try hard. Hey, Jarwick. Well, that's a lot of points. Still have to push. There's no way I'm going to a long round against a Ryagon deck. Hmm. Activity is a bit rough here. Squirrel bait, maybe. It's gotta go. Three devotion deck. I've got pretty good removal tools. Feels unusual in monsters. Toad Prince does that a lot. Yeah, Toad Prince is really strong now. Hey, Cajun Voodoo. This beast kind of sucks. Hopefully, it gets rained on. It's melee locked. Uh, I don't know, probably. I haven't built a monster deck that didn't want it yet.
in my face every game. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I don't think I forced enough out. <laughs> this fucking Yaga in my deck. playing a Yaga, because I had 13 provisions left over in my Devotion deck. I mean, didn't his random damage hit the beast, so the beast grew again? I don't think the math was that hard. adding Oberon and Elder. I mean, they are in the deck, aren't they? I guess I should have used the charge on the Fulmar. I don't know. Might as well over it. Would have got an extra bleed on the bear now. One who is blind can see. Be not Would be two points better. Well, if we lose by two, we know why. <laughs> Never lose by two. <laughs> Defender in this deck? No, I'm not playing Defender. There's no time to play Defender, you just want to jam an engine every turn. Hey, Julio. Any last words? Oh, we have a Yaga. What could go wrong? Drawing too many golds is a thing that can go wrong. No fear. This deck disturbs you because it's got spooky vampires. Don't worry about the spooky vampires, they've never hurt anybody. Exactly like Regis. Day deserves a spooky deck. Spooky, scary vampires. What? I think it's five power now, and I can't yag it. Literal cheating. on the unit inside croc. No, because it isn't in play at the start of the round. I 
Um, I don't know, doesn't Draper thrive? I don't really like giving him a beast to give spying to and potentially make copies of later, but I also can't play around that forever. Hey, Speller. Glad you enjoyed the content. Crystal Skull for Garkin. It's mostly for Necarat. Okay, well that worked. Probably gonna go round three. What's the worst that can happen if we go to round three? He plays all his assimilate cards and has more points than we do. Surely that won't happen. Who's ever had more points than a vampire's deck? Rihanna's just gonna die. <laughs> Spawning multiple elders is miserable. Man. My prescription a bit of blood A one for thirteen. Hey man, it is a 5 for 13. It's gonna get to eat a Mage Assassin. Okay, it's not gonna get to eat a Mage Assassin. Yeah, as far as I've noticed, too, the animations don't seem to be blocking. So, like, you play a vampire, you can immediately click on the Necarat, even though the animation's playing. Which is unusual in Gwent. Usually that kind of stuff would stop you from clicking on things. Really refreshing. Fuck. Can't win anymore. Uh. Yep. Oh. Make right to click. Being locked in leader animations. Oh yeah. How could I ever forget? It was traumatic. So... That's gone. Yeah, I don't think there's any point in continuing to play this round. We got his Yoakim. He still has what? Brothens, Vigo, Terra Nova. I don't know if he's given spying to anything yet, though. Good cards. Good cards. Almost. 
ghost. Need to eat something with Yaga. He still has one more Blight Maker, right? Yeah. Surely we'll get to eat a Mage Assassin. That'd be a good card, Yaga. It is possible that Yaga is the worst card in my hand. Which is really funny. Because it's also the most expensive card in my hand. By a lot. is still playable. Yeah, it's playable. You could probably get to per rank with it. There isn't really a quick fix for him. It's just the type of card that he is is really swingy. You don't want to make a card like this too strong. Like, realistically, it's not something you can build around, which makes it a really weird 13 provision gold. It's just a tech card. But, like, a tech card that you need reliable Sabbath for. kind of going. Because I can't bleed Kiki's while he has an active Kiki, so I'll have to click the Phantom at some point. Probably. the night, bleed the Vigo, get Sabbath. Yaga's gonna be second to last. Yaga's not gonna be a card. Yeah, I need to get Sabbath though. And Oriana is unfortunately range locked. Be not afraid. This will only hurt. If he doesn't damage anything, I can get it next turn. Okay. And I think I just have to take this now. Especially because there's a 5 in play that I would like to have the potential to eat. pretty good now. It was close. <laughs> it was very scary. We were one point away from never getting Sabbath. That's obnoxious. Veil is cheap. Does Yaga get to eat twice? A 
amazing. Broken. Yep. So we go eat you. Kill this. Purify and bleed the veil unit because I can. Hope we have enough points. We should, right? Oh. Still have enough points. We. What did Diago play for? 14 and then 16. It getting tall punished was still points too, because it stopped him from tall punishing the Ori. 31 point Yaga. Any last words? <laughs> Not again. Um. I feel like Flummer's just always a mulligan. Uh, okay. Unfortunately, they were also the only bleeding cards I had. I mean, this deck's always gonna miss provs. It has zero thinning and zero tutors. Fuck, you can do that again! Oh, that feels so bad. That feels so much worse than when Larva was 5p. Larva is fucked. <laughs> Procs the Thrive. Amazing. Uh, yeah, I don't think I care about Bonded Illusionist right now. They made it two base power and one armor, but still 6B. Yeah, I don't think I can just give my opponent round one, but I don't know if these conquerors are going to be safe. Prince is just good now. Yeah, it's just really solid. Worth a lot of points on your removal card. many times. Happens almost weekly. They're almost never accurate. I just need my opponent to commit a little bit more. 
darn. What have you gotten? I don't even remember. But many. So... I don't know, the janky bleed sort of worked out last time, but I'm pretty sure it only works if my opponent throws. That might just have to be my out, though. Joe Kiri. I have no idea who that is. I once again don't see it, but okay. I... Why is Veil so strong? Veil's a messed up mechanic. I can't beat that mechanic. Oh my god. Okay, I just need to... <laughs> I just need to get Sabbath. <laughs> come on, come on, no! <laughs> Um, fuck, I can't do it. There's no way to do it. It's over. He can't kill it. Copium. Why is Sabbath the term? Uh, because when you click on the card, and you read the tooltips, Sabbath is to trigger the ability if at least one of the rows has 25 or more points. You won't hit the Parasite. Crimson Curse will miss. Oh, right. I guess... Does he have Devotion? <laughs> is this a Devotion deck? No, he's playing Mushy Truffle. <laughs> yes. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Click him. Imagine he just doesn't have an answer to this Yaga at all, and I get to eat this Mage Torturer too. Darn. Never lucky. So he still has an Invo. <laughs> he waved the whole time, yeah. And Invo too. We got his tall removals and his leader. <laughs> look, look, he just he didn't want to respect the Yaga before it was big. Who wants to spend their invo on a one point unit? Cheating! We got Oberon once. I drew it in the first game. No! <laughs> this is fucked. It's the end of the Veil units, right? Now our opponent has to play the fair and square. No more cheating. Come snap your 
No more cheating. So most likely the elder is just gonna go on a fucking veil unit anyway, so spores. Cheater. It's not attorney joust. No. Actually coming down the missing all the rolls. I'm just missing the one roll. Thanks for the raid! Welcome everybody. Hope your stream went well. We're playing some spooky vampires for the spooky holiday. At least does it assimilate. Yeah. Soldiers should be fine, right? Soldiers don't have any built-in veil. Hey, Shikwu. Thanks for the raid as well. Welcome, everybody. It was cheat, except when used against Nilfgaard. But it's not cheat. Vale is certainly cheat against vampires. That's all that I'll say. I'm not going to read into it any more than that. Glad the games went well. Slave infantry into pass. We got Phantom and Beast out of us. Need this. I don't know, those are all possible. Just depends what the devs want to do with it. Fuck! That's a beating. I mean, maybe it's intentional that they want vampires to be counterable by Veil, and if so, then. The answer might just be make other vampire cards stronger to compensate. It really depends. Just depends what they want out of the archetype. Get 
type then? What? No. Oh. My point is there's a lot of different things you can do that don't all involve invalidating your counters. Like, just making the archetype stronger overall while still letting it be counterable by Veil does not make it a dead archetype. This is why I don't like getting into, like, backseat card design discussions, because there's just so much shit they could do, and speculating about, like, what they will do, or what you want them to do is just kind of pointless. I forgot to click on that grat. It's a lot of Bruxes. Discussing game design and Twitch tends to be as informed, productive as discussing politics. You are not wrong, Moshcraft. You are not wrong. And for some reason, it seems to be one of the only things Gwent people want to talk about. Uh, bleed. You bleed. You. Back for Lydia for no reason. I do think so. It might be that he was worried about his front row space. Just like forgot which row did what. So we kill this Thrive unit. Bleed a thing. More space for a fawn. Possibly. I gotta imagine that a special card is worth more than five points, though. Easy 2 0. If he has a tar removal for not really. <laughs> Like, I don't think I play the Oberon. Just try to save some kind of short round. Oh, okay. Or we do just 2 0 That works. We. <laughs> kind of surprised that worked. <laughs> Oops. No! Stop with the Nilf card! Oh. Oh, maybe I just keep the bonded pair. Oh, Yaga. What could go wrong? <laughs> this hand is perfect. It has none of our golds. Yet somehow has the most expensive card in our deck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Joke's on him. I play no thinning. Jokes on me, I can't answer this. Oh yes, my Oberon. I might have trouble with uh, an Operator start though. You might be able to mill enough cards. We'll see. a lot of nice point golds. There's an elder he probably can't beat too. Like Ori just gets Vilgood, right? Huh. 
It's lucky we didn't draw Yaga. I mean, we did draw Yaga. The problem is, this is a 6 provision card. So if he puts Mage Infiltrator on top, or a Mage Assassin on top, is that the only thing that I get to Yaga in this matchup? So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 it is just short of getting ahead, so I'm just going to play this. Really appreciating all of these Yaga targets that I have. They're looking real good. Can you even do this? So Vilga is 17. And then I always get something that's worth more. I don't think there's a card in this deck that does it. Just an expensive toad at this point. Not really. Um, just play to max round length. It's not like you can mill me two in one card. Higher ceiling, but not worth the prowls. I mean, they're just completely different cards. You're really oversimplifying on the consume word if you think they're at all similar. If you just want to say that like Yaga's bad, sure, but don't compare it to Toad Prince because they don't even come close to filling the same role. Well, do you usually want to win round one? Yeah. Almost always. I'll leave the unit in deck. It probably just gets milled and banished, but there's a chance that he has to T-board out. Bow, barbarian. Bow low. Wiggle forts. Is he running Q? Probably for the operator, Kingslayer.
I can just do this, right? We beat any tall removal. Yep. Just tibbles. Sick Yaga, though. Value! That doesn't even have zeal. <laughs> 